Winona Elika Fiel from Grade 9 Mabolo. Hi everyone, I'm Winona Elika Fiel and we're talking about positivity attitude and inspiring learners to face the academic challenges. So now, I'm giving you 10 helpful tips. Number one, stay in your time zone. Stay in the present because sometimes we think what will happen tomorrow. And the other day, focus on what you need and you should do so you do not get confused. Number two, refrain your thinking. Do not think that you are pitiful. Do not down yourself. Number three, talk to others to avoid stress. Number four, you need exercise, yoga, deep breathing, meditation to relax. Number five, pray and never lose hope. Number six, while answering the module, listen to a music to entertain yourself and enjoy answering. Number seven, you look at a problem as challenge and opportunity. Number eight, if you only focus on the reason, not in the solution, nothing will happen. Number nine, relax yourself and drink water only. Number ten, always be positive, be confident, and don't let others down you. And always smile to attract good vibes. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share this video. Bye! Fourth place, Gabriel Manglapus from Grade 9 Coconut. The youth is the one of the nation. Ignore the things that can be there. As your parents, if you have lessons, you do not understand. Learn to make a schedule so you don't need to grab next time. Take. Um. yourself during this time of pandemic. Tip number one, control your own anxiety. Get the most credible information you can. Focus on fact-based, helpful information about the virus. For instance, visit websites like the World Health Organization. Avoid endless social media streams which can be filled with misinformation and constant breaking news headlines which can fuel your concerns. Anxiety is the best is best contained if you know the guidelines for protecting you and your loved ones, including hand washing, cleaning surfaces, uses of sanitizers, whether you or your family needs to be in isolation, and what supplies you should you should have at home in case if you're quarantined. Tip number two, talk to your parents or guardians. Ask them what they know. Examples on how to start a conversation. Ask them on, what have you heard about the coronavirus? Where did you heard about it? What are your major concerns or worries? Tell them what you feel about the coronavirus. Once you know what information they have and what they're concerned about, then you can help to fill in in any necessary gaps. Tip number three, don't blame others. In stressful times, when we feel helpless, there's a tendency to blame someone or become more fearful. 
even when there is no reaction evidence to support these reactions. This can create social stigma and be harmful towards certain group of people in the case of COVID-19, particularly people with Asian descent, for instance, Chinese, and people who have recently traveled. The last thing we want to do when frightening events happen is to cast blame on others, either intentionally or without meaning to. And lastly, tip number four, work together to create a new normal. Stick to a schedule that works with online learning. Set a time to wake up, exercise, shower, get dressed, have breakfast, or whatever you need to start the school day. If it helps, allow yourself to sleep a little later than normal. Like you would be in class, phones should be off while doing schoolwork. Keep the TV off during school hours and limit time watching the news. Plan mini breaks and a one-hour lunch break. Make dinner transition time between the school day and the evening. Dinner is a great time to gather the whole family to talk and share a meal. Try fun conversation starters such as my favorite part of the day was or today I am grateful for. This may be the time for your family may choose to observe a quiet moment together. Allow downtime. It's normal for us teens to crave more privacy from our own family. Give space for some quiet time, creativity time, music time, or to do virtually hang out with our friends. This can help any feelings of being isolated from our friends and difficulties with routine change. That's all. I hope you have learned and been inspired by those tips that I have said. Good day and God bless! Second place, John Rowe Ariscon from Grade 9 Dignan. Tired, stressed, lack of energy. Here's some of my tips. It's important to take a meal before studying because food is what makes us in good shape. When our tummy is full, we will have the courage to do or to answer our modules or might do some practical activities. If we eat before we work, we will have a proper mindset and we will gain energy and that will help us answer easily and properly our modules. Drink water. Water helps to relax and refresh when you are stressed because when you drink water, your whole body will be energized and it's also help in online class when you are stressed or problematic. struggles in managing time here's some of my tips make a proper schedule it is important to make a schedule it helps to balance your things to do it will help you to make your work easily and to have a proper focus to your work Follow your schedule properly. If you make your schedule, you need to make sure that you will follow it properly. Do not skip and just do your work in their corresponding time and that will help you to finish your work. Here's some of my additional tips. Ask for help. It is important to ask questions about your modules if you can understand it because 
It helps you uncover the difficulties of the questions you're facing and generate better solutions or answers to solve those questions. Pray and take rest. We need to sleep enough before doing our daily tasks or modules and before attending our online class in order to refresh our brain. Getting enough sleep is important because it can help protect not only your mental health but also your physical health. And we should pray before going to sleep because God gave us another day and will give us another blessed day. First place, Gemma Castañas and Mike Denver Bertoncejo from Grade 9, Calamansi. January 30, 2020. The first COVID-19 case in the Philippines was reported. She was a 38-year-old female Chinese national. And now, we have 385,000 COVID-19 cases. and 7,269 total deaths. Is there an end for this pandemic? When? How? These are the questions for students like us. answer it now. And the answer is Yes. Why? First, Because we have God in our side. Isaiah 41 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and hold you. I will uphold you with my right shoes, right hand. So don't be afraid. All we need to do is to be strong. Second. There are many people who will fight with you. And there is God who will lead us to victory. 7 Tips for Working with Modules First, plan your time. Schedule in some fun. 
Ayon, Lillian Joyce Gamo, Ayesha Torre, Jarlene Regal from Grade 9, Apple Tree. Regarding our online class, even in life, I'm I'm very stressed. Can you help me with that? Yes, of course. Here are my tips. You should pray first when you wake up in the morning and ask guidance to God, and then eat before you do modules. And also, I recommend do a study plan. I also think about that study plan will help me, and about the food that I will eat. I will I will wake up earlier. Then I usually wake up so I can prepare my food. Ask for help when you need it, and you can always call me when you badly need someone to talk to. And also talk to your family; they will understand you. Promise, and take a study breaks. I also think that it's good to have friends while doing modules. Like I can reach out when I need you. Thanks. Here are my more tips. Have a dedicated study place where you can focus and all. Ask our teacher when you don't know what to do. The most important is sleep at least eight hours and don't stress yourself. Practice time management. You can also use it in the future and enjoy what you're doing. And yeah, I also noticed that my study place or my workplace is kind of messy. I'm going to fix the things so. I'll be organized this time, so it's not hard for me to find the things that I need. And about sleeping, yeah, I will sleep early because we really need that, especially now that we're in crisis and pandemic. And about enjoying things, yeah, I will enjoy. I will try to enjoy the everything that I do. Thank you very much. I'm so great that I reached out to you. 